Hi and welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. With this video I do want to talk about curves and how I'm using them to finish the post-processing on a very dreamy warm sunrise image like this one. If you want to follow along you can always find the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So as I said in the intro I'm going to be using curves a lot to finish the editing for this shot. However, we first need to do the basic raw adjustments. So that's why we are here in the camera raw editor. This shot is rather underexposed because I have saved the highlights and restoring those shadows shouldn't be a big deal. First off, let me change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. This will already brighten up the darkest parts a little bit. Then I'm expanding the basic tab and here let's work on the white balance. As you can see the sky was pretty crazy that morning. For me the colors do look a little bit too yellowish so I'm going to bring down the temperature a notch. Just to not be overwhelmed by all those warm color tones. Also I'm going to bring down the tint to kind of neutralize that purple color cast just like that. Next up I want to restore those darker areas by bringing up the exposure. This is looking much better but of course we are losing details in the highlights in the sky. So to counter that problem simply bring down the highlights. And this should be good enough for now. Then I do want to add a little bit of contrast right away. And continue by increasing the shadows for more details in the darkest areas. Let's raise them quite a bit so we can actually see things in the foreground. Also I am going to raise the blacks and this will just help a bit with that dreamy look I'm aiming for. Now I'm also going to add some texture and then I'm dropping the clarity again which just helps with that dreamy look. And finally I'm bringing up the vibrance and let's also raise the saturation. Perfect. So by applying just those base adjustments you can see we have restored a lot of details. Now it's actually well exposed with just a little bit of overexposure which I think is okay in certain areas. The colors still look a little bit strange but I think they are better than before. Before we continue I do think I need to straighten this image a bit. I think that should be fine. Now let's go ahead and apply a little bit of masking. First off, I'd like to darken the top right part of the sky. For that I'm simply going to use a linear gradient and just try to target most of the right part of the sky here. Then let's bring down the exposure. I'm also going to raise the contrast so we do have some more details in the clouds. At the same time because I'm increasing the contrast the colors are a little too strong now so I'm bringing down the saturation. And then finally let's add a bit of clarity for more details. Perfect. Next let's add glow to this area. And for that I'm using a radial gradient. I'm going to make it rather big. Now let's tilt it so it fits the shape of that bright part of the sky. I wanted to overlap those darker areas so the glow effect actually is very visible. And with this radial gradient I'm going to bring up the blacks. Then I'm raising the temperature which will make the area slightly warmer. I'm also going to drop the clarity which creates a softer glow. And the dehaze which makes the glow effect stronger. Just be careful because this will also lead to some more overexposure. Then I do want to work on the foreground. Again I'm just using a simple linear gradient trying to target most of the foreground like this. And in here I just want to bring down the whites making this area slightly darker. And I'm also going to introduce some clarity for some more details in here. Just like that. And that's the image after the masking adjustments. You can see this made the image a lot more interesting especially in the sky with those details and the heavier contrast. Now let's do a little bit of color grading before we head into Photoshop for the more interesting stuff. I'm going to start with the color mixer and let's go into the hue panel. Here I do want to bring down the yellow hue quite a bit making those yellow tones 
somewhat more orange-ish. That looks great. Then I'm also going to bring down the blue hue, which will introduce some more blue color tones in the sky and just get rid of the purple color cast some more. I can do the same with the purple hue. And then maybe let's raise the magentas. Looking good so far, let's head over into the saturation tab and bring up the orange saturation. Let's drop the yellow saturation and bring up the blues. Perfect. Looking good so far, now I'm going to apply a little bit of split toning. Let's start with the highlights. Since we're working with the sunrise image, of course, I want to have warm highlights. So I'm going with a very warm hue and I'm bringing up the saturation quite a bit, just like that. And let's switch over to the midtones. Here, I'm going to make use of a cold color tone to add a little bit of color contrast. And again, I'm bringing up the saturation quite a bit. Perfect. And that's already it for the color grading in the Camera Raw Editor. Now, the only thing that's left to do is a bit of sharpening. So let's bring down the radius, increase the details, add a little bit of masking, and then just increase the amount of sharpening. Perfect. Now, that's the image after the raw adjustments. You can see the difference is quite huge. But now, let's open up this image in Photoshop and finish it. First off, I'd like to get rid of the vignetting in the upper corners. Here I'm just using the clone stamp tool. I'm trying to copy an area from right next to it by holding down the Alt key. Now let's just brush the vignetting away and repeat that on the other side. I'm going to also clean up a few of those grass blades in the foreground, just using the spot healing brush for that. Alright, that looks great. Now let's introduce some more contrast to this image by using curves. For that, I am opening up the adjustment layers panel and here we are choosing a curves adjustment layer. Now the curves, of course, as most of you know, are really, really powerful. So I will not go into detail how all those curves will start working. Instead, I'm just going to improve the contrast on this image and later also do a little bit of color correction and color grading with the different curves channels. First off, I'd like to introduce some more contrast, however. So I'm going to create a point in the center. And what I want to do with that is to just bring it down and thus I'm making the whole image a lot darker. Let's bring it down quite a bit. But of course, I don't want to make anything too dark. To counter that adjustment, I'm going to grab the black point and just slightly raise it. In some cases, if you're doing that too much, this will lessen the contrast again. But I think this is looking like a pretty good point. And then to further enhance the contrast, I'm going to create another point somewhere in the highlights up here. And I'm going to drag it up. So that is looking really good already. You can see the difference when I'm deactivating the curves adjustment layer, instantly making this image way more interesting. However, I might not want to have those curves adjustment over the whole image. I want to have them in particular areas. So I'm going to make use of that layer mask, grab the brush tool, set the foreground color to black, and maybe let's bring down the brush opacity a bit. And now I, for example, don't want to have that much contrast in the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to bring back in some brightness by masking out the curves adjustment layer on this area. Also, let's do the same on the foreground on the right. Just brushing over the area a bit and also the top part of the sky right there. Also on the bright glowing part, because we actually want to have that part with a little less contrast for the soft glow effect. So you can see by making use of the layer mask, we still have contrast in the important areas while not losing too much details in other areas. Next up, I want to do a few other adjustments before I continue with the curves. Right now, I do think those yellow clouds could use some more saturation. For that, let me create a vibrance adjustment layer. And usually I would use the TK panel plugin 
to select those yellow clouds but of course there are many different ways to do that and one of them lies under the select menu here we are going to choose the color range let's drag that window to the left to the right and now i'm just clicking in the image on the color which i want to select and if i want to select some more colors i can simply hold down the shift key just target those areas this way let's try it like this by hitting ok you can see we now have a different layer mask on the vibrance adjustment layer now let's just bring up the vibrance maybe even the saturation but i think that looks pretty nice of course we don't want to overdo it so let's just leave it at that for now then i also want to enchant the glow on the left some more so again i'm creating a new layer switch the blending mode to soft light Again, grab the brush tool and I'm making sure to drop the brush opacity some more. And I'm also going to change the foreground color to the color in the bright area right there. All right, with the brush set up, I'm going to brush it a few times to create the glow. And that should already be enough. Perfect. All right, at this point, let's do some more curves adjustments. Again, opening up the adjustment layers and adding a curve layer. First off, I'm thinking about adding some more general contrast. So I'm still in the RGB curve. Again, I'm creating a point in the middle first and let's try dragging it slightly to the left. And then I'm going to create a point for the shadows right there and then drag it to the left to brighten up the darkest parts a bit. Then I want to create a point for the highlights somewhere up here and just erase it which will create more contrast by making the brightest parts a little brighter. Okay, deactivating this curves layer, you can see the contrast got even better than before. Looking in those darker areas, especially right there in the landscape, you can see the colors might look a little bit weird. I do want to try fix that using the curves adjustment layer. So first off, let me switch into the green channel and what I want to do here is to use that point and slightly drag it closer to the histogram, which you can see in the curves window. So just drag it further to the right. And thus I'm just trying to minimize the color cast. At this point, we are getting some more red tones in the shadows. So to prevent that, I'm going from the green channel to the red channel. And again, pick the black point and just drag it closer to the histogram and thus just trying to neutralize the color cast. This is looking really good. At this point, I also want to introduce some more red tones to the highlights. And here I can just stay in the red channel, pick the point for the highlights and just drag it further to the left, making those warmer color tones some more intense. Of course, this will give us some more overexposure. So just be aware of that. But I think this looks great. I could make use of that layer mask once more and just go ahead and brush out the overexposed areas right there. Just trying to prevent that as much as possible, but I think that looks pretty decent. And then I do want to merge everything into a new layer, so I'm hitting Control, Shift, Alt and E. And on that new layer, I'm going to hit Control, Alt, 2, which will select the brightest highlights of the image which I then copy by hitting Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So I have all those highlights in a new layer up here. And on this layer, I'm going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You can see we're going to add some really crazy soft look by adding a lot of Gaussian blur. Just hit OK. Then I'm switching the blending mode to screen. And I'm also going to drop the opacity to make this effect a lot weaker. So let's bring it down quite a bit. Just want to add some very, very subtle autumn glow effect. Just like that. Perfect. Then we could do some more color grading. I think I do want to introduce some more warmer color tones. So again, open up the adjustment layers and here let's add a photo filter adjustment layer. And you can see how this just warms up the whole image very, very nicely. So I don't think I need to change anything with this one. Finally, I do want to add one more curves layer. And with this one, I just want to target the upper right part of the sky by adding 
some more contrast. Again, I'm going to go on and create a point in the middle and drag it down. And that should be enough. Maybe a point for the very dark shadows right there and again, drag it down a notch. But I think this looks good. So as I said, this one is only targeted at the top part of the sky. So I'm going to select the layer mask, hit Ctrl I to invert it, then grab the brush tool, set the foreground color to white, bring up the brush opacity, and then I'm going to paint in this contrast of the curves by just brushing over those areas I want to change. And at this point here we have the finished image. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. But for now, if you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you guys very much for watching this video.